What's up everybody, hope you all are doing great and the topic of this video is how to use Vimeo, Vimeo tutorial for beginners. So here we are, Vimeo is a powerful software which provides us the opportunity to interact with our videos so we can easily montage them and interact with some other features. We don't have to download anything, we can just simply use online version of Vimeo. Now we are on Vimeo.com and as you can see we can easily click on start for free but let's take a look about some of the features. So as you can see, Vimeo platform provides us the opportunity to make videos, manage videos and share our videos. Today we are going to speak about make videos part. As you can see, we have the ability to screen record, create and edit, uh, create interactive videos, virtual events, webinars and also live streaming stuff. So today we are going to speak more about their like um, editor or something like this. The place where we can edit our own videos. We can also find a lot of information about the solutions like for enterprise, small businesses, great professional education and so on, some like customer stories, resources and also we'll discover their prices a little bit later. So let's click on start for free and we'll come to the next page where we just simply need to basically find some information about um, about their like plans and we can easily start for free if it's necessary if we'll go back we can easily click on a free plan right up here and we'll come to next page where we can create an account and basically we can create it with a gmail or email i'm going to click on join with a gmail as for me it's definitely the best variant to continue using uh, my vmail stuff and i suggest you to do the same so you don't have to spend your time to create uh, an account and it will come to this page to our dashboard to our home page where we can find a lot of information in first could be a little bit hard to understand at the beginning but let's take a look so here in the top of the screen we can find options to manage our videos we can open our library with our projects find some analytics we can sell videos uh, find video school area upgrade to buy some paid plans we can also find resources to learn from we can learn from blog video school customer stories and so on also, we can discover different features like interactive video, live stream, screen recorder. So if you want to start creating with a Vimeo, for example, you'd like to create some tutorials or some other stuff. And if you want to use a screen recorder, you can use it from this page here. Also, we have the option to interact with online video editor and so on. Also, we have like best of the year stuff and some other stuff. And we also can upgrade it from this page here. In the right top corner, we can also upload our own video. We can create record or create an event also we can manage our profile from this page here we can go to library collections analytics likes watch later purchases and so on so in the central part right up here we can find four options like upload record create and create an event in my case I'll show you more about uh, like creation area so as you can see we can start from scratch or choose a template so if you'll click on this button right up here we'll come to next page where we can um, find a lot of different templates we can interact with so they divide it into different categories we can find all of them right up here or if you click on the left side menu we can find like recommended free new ads e-commerce so I think everyone will be able to find something suitable as for him in my case I'm going to click on e-commerce for example if I'd like to interact with some ads stuff and some for example we'd like to create some uh, video for advertisement or something like this or just for simply Instagram post so there are a lot of options we can use a Vmail for so let's say that I'd like to use uh, this one here so I'm going to click on this icon but basically we have a couple of options like personal food and drink health wellness social real estate Facebook Instagram and so on there are a lot of different formats like in different ratio or like horizontal vertical squared and so on so let's go back to e-commerce stuff. I'm going to click on this one here. So as you can see, we can click on customize to open our editor and we can easily interact with our uh, Vmail stuff. Basically, we can of course click on create your own right up here. We can um, get a quick video and so we can upload our own photos, clips. And after that, it will be easy as for us to like combine them with AI. Or we can click on cli uh, start from scratch. As you can see, use our full suite of editing tools to craft your own video. Basically, if you'll click on start from scratch and if you'll click on this one here, we'll come to the same page, but um, with the help of 
this template it will be easier as for me to show you the process of editing so after that we'll come to this page where as you can see we can find a lot of uh, different instruments we can use basically in the top of the screen we have this panel where we can change our ratio so we can swipe to like vertical or horizontal i'll stay in a squared also we can add like um, different guides and so on i'm going to disable them and here we can find all the video duration we can click on preview to view how will it look like and basically it looks like this i think it's pretty cool and also we have two features we can use is that we can undo and redo our like actions if you want to delete something you've changed you can just simply click on undo or if you want to like basically rebuild something you can click on uh, redo right up here you can also find the option to save the project and to save the video right up here and everything is quite easy to understand so i'll go back to the like previous page because i clicked on save and uh, let's take a look about main uh, features of a uh, vmail sometimes it may take a little time until everything will be uploaded and um, it's because of like a high volume of interactions with a vmail so here we are in the left side menu we can find the option to interact with media presets text graphics music palette and brand uh, basically on media folder we can find a uh, stock footages we can use like videos photos and so on we can also click on my media to find our own files we can click on upload and then just upload everything from our computer and it'll be easy for us to interact and to add it right up here or we can record as i already said so we can use like not for example our recorder which i have on my mac i can click on right up here and then just i can simply record my screen entire screen to show you something to show some maybe processes if it's necessary and after that it'll come to my media stuff also we can assess our google photos if it's necessary so you can connect if you would like to for example work with somebody so it will be easy for you to share files you can just simply upload them into google photos and basically what is interesting right up here is that we can click for example for this stuff i'm going to open like abstract i'm going to use it right up here so we can click on plus and it will be automatically added into our like as a new sound to our uh, post i'm going to undo this feature but as you can see it's pretty easy to interact it's pretty easy to add we can uh, switch from photos uh, from videos to photos right up here and basically we can add for example this one here nothing hard everything is like quite simple on the presets area we can find a lot of uh like frames a lot of sands we can use as a default one so we can add them like like this like this so let's click for example to this preset and we can add this sand right up here as you can see it was successfully added and now it's like the third sun after that we can easily interact with it if it's necessary as for us there are a lot of templates we can use and i suggest you to find if it's like something suitable as for you so you don't have to create something from scratch and do some other stuff on the text area we can add some text as you can see we have a couple of styles if we click on add text it will be automatically added to current sun which is selected on our timeline and it will be easy for us to interact with this text in my case i'm going to delete it and also we can add like graphics for example like bodies in motion arrows laugh sometimes it could be really helpful if you want to for example pin for something or add some uh, you know um details you'd like to share it with your viewers or something like this it will be pretty easy for you to find uh, some stuff here but you can also add them like to media folder if you'd like to add some icons for example or some stickers you cannot find on uh, like vmail presets or something like this inside and on the music area we can also find a lot of different non-copyright music if we'll hover our mouse right up here we can easily listen for it basically we can upload our own music in the bottom of the screen as you can see but um, what's cool is that we can easily try to find something uh, on vmail all music here is like non-copyrighted so it, we can easily use it for free we don't have to pay we don't have to you know ask somebody to use this feature and also we can change our polite from all for all the project inside of the polite area sometimes it could be really really interesting if you'd like to for example use one template and you'd like to change a wall style of this a template into like different for example we'd like to change colors and so on and on the brand area we can customize some brand details if you like to add some branding into your uh, stuff yeah and in the right side here we have our player which is in this like central top part 
and also we have a timeline. On the timeline, we can easily switch between two different views. For example, we can click on timeline and after that we'll be able to find how will it look like right up here and can easily click on done. We have a couple of sands here and every single sand divided into its own rectangle. So if you'll click on this sand, for example, we'll come to this page. Now you can go to timeline and interact with only this part right up here. We can zoom, we can uh, add auto duration and so on. In order to crop or do some other stuff, we just simply need to click and then in the top of the screen right up here, we'll be able to manage layouts, colors, uh, size as, and, and feed. Like I'll add motion effects, uh, background effects, edit trimming and so on. In order to interact with the text and some other areas, we just simply need to click on the necessary part here and then just simply double click and it will open this page. For example, we can easily write something, for example, like water, let it be. Also, we have a couple of other elements, for example, this part here. And as you can see, if we'll click on it, we'll be able to find some additional elements in the top of the screen right up here. So we can add animation, size, opacity, rotate, flip, add trimming, and also replace graphics. If we click on more, we can also add some additional actions like copy, duplicate, delete, forward, and so on. And in this case, we can easily interact with every single sun here, here. But as you can see, all the templates are a little bit similar. So we only have like different background here and the text is just the same. So sometimes it could be easier to create it from scratch. So you can easily manage all the stuff, add some backgrounds, add some details, add some text. And after that, your video is basically ready. So we can click on preview to view how does it look like and we can click on save in the right top to save our project and in order to interact with some other stuff, for example, if you'd like to export and um, basically share it to platforms, for example, we just simply need to wait for a little until everything is uh, done. And what is interesting is that uh, Vimeo basically provides us the opportunity to render and to uh, save our like video right up here but as you can see we can add some description also some other stuff and if you want to share it we can just simply click on share and share it to somebody's like profile as you can see now it's like under optimizing so we just simply need to wait until it will be like optimized and so on and if we we'll click on Vimeo in the left top corner we'll come back to our page where we can find our current project we can delete, make a copy, embed an email, embed or view some analytics. And basically we can copy link to share this video, for example, with somebody you'd like to share it with. And if we'll come to uh, basically library, we can find all the projects. We can go to live stream, manage live stream, showcases and monetize. As you can see, we have the opportunity to monetize videos on Vimeo. As you can see, monetize your content with your branded and site and app. So we can launch a video business, turn your video into memberships, courses, streaming channels and more, retrievers and any device, distribute across popular mobile, TV and connected device platform and you can sell globally as a means in over 100 currencies with built-in e-commerce checkout. So it's pretty, pretty cool. If you're going to speak about the paid plans, we can discover like four plans and like one more free. As you can see, we have like starter, standard, like advanced and earn price, like $12, $20 and $65. As you can see, I have like a couple of discounts. I don't know, is it for everyone? But we can also start a free trial right up here. If you try to compare them, we can find a lot of differences. Basically, I suggest you to try Vimeo for free. And after that, you'll be able to understand is it necessary as for you to buy a paid plan. But if you're using it like almost every day, for example, it will be like, as you can see, most popular is a standard. I don't think that it's too like expensive so everyone can afford it if uh, like it's a part of your job maybe or it's like for your hobby or something like this so as you can see the most like um, featured is like enterprise but the most popular is a standard standard as for me i can definitely recommend you to use a vmail so if you're interesting just simply visit this website and then just use vmail for like your for your tasks um, basically hope this video guys helped you out leave a like subscribe if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below i'll try to answer for all of them but sometimes i could be busy goodbye